hi guys welcome to my channel i hope you guys are doing well i'm gonna be stuffing the rest of my sinking funds and my dog sinking funds so i'm gonna go ahead and get into the video um the next one i'm gonna be stuffing for my sinking funds is clothing and clothing is going to get 15 dollars i'm gonna do 10 and 5 And I did not dip into this these last two weeks, so we're just going to add this. Alright, so now I have 50, 100, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86. So I have $186. Okay, so the next one is, oh, let me add, let's see. So we said 186. All right, so the next one is savings and savings is gonna get 130. So I'm gonna do 100, 20, and 30. I did put my trackers in the back over here because it was kind of annoying when I was pulling out the money. I did transfer 550 to my savings account. So I was left with 470 here because I think last cash stuffing I had, um, I had 1,020. So I did transfer 550 to my savings account. And I left 470 here as a cushion in case if I need to dip into it. I have easy access to this money and in my savings account it does take a while. So with the 130, I now have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 550, 570, 590, 600. So that is awesome. But my goal is to not have to dip into this. That's why I try to have like different sinking funds. But I know that there will be like a day when I'm going to have to. But my goal is to not try to dip into it. So birthdays is going to get $15. As you guys can see, this is completely depleted because I did get my sister her birthday present. So it's going to get 15 So I'm going to do 10 and five and it's gonna have the first 15. Next one is, oh, I have to write down. I keep forgetting to write it down. And vacation is going to get 25. So I'm gonna do 20 and five. All right, so now I have one, two, three, 20, 40, 65. So I have 365 hoping that one day I can take a vacation. All right, so the next one is new car and new car is going to be getting $30. I'll do 20 and 10. I did roll over 20 here from my gasoline money. So now with the 30, I have one, two, three, four, 20, 40, 50, 60, so I have 460. All right, so stationery is going to get $5, and I don't think I stuffed it. No, last time I didn't stuff it. So I have not used this, and I have 10, 15, and 20. Okay, so let me write down 20. All right, so next is triple A, and triple A is going to get $2. All right. So I have 10, 15, and 17 for triple A. Right. 
Next is phone. And phone is going to get $10. Great. So now I have 50, 60, 2, 63, which is awesome. I am going to do printer and printer is going to get 65 so I'm going to do 50, 10, and 5. Okay, so now I have 50, 100, 20, 35, 40. I have 140. I have to double check because um, it's crazy. <laughs> I really, like, I really didn't think I was going to have this much, which is amazing because I really do want to get my printer so that I can go ahead and start budgeting for my um, Cricut machine. Okay, so the next one is, and we still haven't gotten yogurt. We keep postponing this. Um, Is that it for my sinking funds? Um, let's see. Yeah, so that is it for my sinking funds. So what I'm going to do is grab these $3. Since I'm already filming, I'm going to try to roll this over to a different category. So let me see. Electronics has... Wondering 50, 60, 2, 3. So if I add 2, that would be 65, which is not bad. I kind of want to put this in one of my variable expenses envelope, so I think I'm going to do that. I want to put it in food because. I love getting food. <laughs> Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in probably food because I did dip into this. As you can see, I got McDonald's for me and my family. I definitely don't want to put it in spending or splurge because I'm trying to spend less money. I like buy a lot of stuff from Etsy and Amazon. I think I'm going to put it in here because I dipped into this. Um, the total for everything was 27 and I got $7 from here and $20 from my food. So I'm gonna put the three in here. So I have five, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. We're done with my sinking funds, so next I'm going to move on to my dog sinking funds. So I'm going to go ahead and start with his personal, and his personal is going to get $10. And I did dip into this because I had to, that's why it says negative 5. I had to get um, one of those, what do you call it? It's like a seatbelt for, for my car so that he can be like secure so that he doesn't move around so you clip it to his harness and then you clip the other end to the seatbelt thing and um he had one but it broke so i got another one from amazon and that one came with two and it was like five dollars and twelve cents and now i have 10 20 30 40 50 65 So next is dog food, and dog food is going to get $7. Five, seven. All right, so now we have 20, 40, 5, 47, 49. 
$45, 47 49 Yeah, we have $49. Okay, and the next one is his bet. I think I think this is going to reach the $1,000. If it does, I do the same thing with my savings. I leave $500 here in case if I have to dip into it. And then I transfer $500 to my savings account to save it for him. I'm going to um, add $120. So I'm going to do $120. Okay. And now, oh, now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty, seventy, eighty. We're so close. I thought it was gonna reach the the thousand dollars, but it didn't. It's fine. Uh, we're twenty dollars short, but it's okay. We're very close though, definitely next paycheck, it will reach the $1,000 mark and that's going to be awesome, but we still have a good amount here, so I'm very happy about that and yeah, that's awesome. Okay, so next is his birthday and that will be the last one I will be stuffing and I'm going to put 15, so I have 5, 10, and 15. And I do have an extra 20 here because my mom gave me $20. She got some extra money. I think like a few days ago, she said um, she transferred 20 to my account and she said, oh, this is going to be for Theodore's birthday. And I was like, oh, thank you. Um, I didn't ask for it or anything. She was just like, I know you're going to throw him like a little party and I just want to help out. And I was like, wow, that's really nice. You didn't have to. So um, with the 15 I added, I have 20, 30, 40, 50, 65, 75, 80, 82, 83, 84, 85. So I have $85. This is completely funded. So when I budget for February, for the first pay period of February, I'm going to start budgeting for next year. This is going to be for this year for next month because his birthday is next month. And if I have money left over, I'm just going to let it roll over in his birthday sinking fund. And um, that is it for this cash stuffing video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and commenting. If you guys liked what I post, please comment, like, and subscribe. And I will hopefully see you guys next time. Bye.